Woodhill Racing Estate have always been avid supporters of Algoa Cup Racing Day here in the Eastern Cape. So it's fantastic to host them again on Friday. We really look forward to the Glen Cotson runners that are entered. The yard start in race three with Blue Holly. Now Glen says she'll be trying Polly for the first time, but he thinks she'll love it. She's fit and well. She ran a cracker against the boys last time out. And back to same sex company, Glen, Glen says he's hoping to open with a win. We move to race five where my bestie steps out and Glenn says he's been waiting a while for the win and although it hasn't come yet, my bestie has been quite close in recent starts. He's right down in the ratings, looks like a million dollars, is acting like a two-year-old. He just needs to find that winner's box. He's been on Polly before, says Glenn, acts on it and does have a chance in this field. Moving to race seven, we have the two runners here and the mask is first up. Glenn says, unfortunately, he hasn't had the greatest of preps, but they'll be taking their chances in a small field. He has previously won on the poly, which is an advantage, and on form, he can be effective. On My Honor will be racing alongside the mask, and this is the race that On My Honor was prepped for. He, Glenn said, obviously, when lining up in his last, which had been on poly here in the Eastern Cape, hadn't been planned, but it has turned out to be really beneficial that he's seen the poly, and he certainly did take to it. So Glenn feels he's going to take a lot of beating and he does feel that he's a classic type of horse. Well represented in the Betway Algoa Cup and the Woodhill Racing will step out four runners here and we're going to start with Blackberry Malt. The fact that we're now on Polly, says Glenn, is definitely in his favour as he does enjoy the Polly. He left Durban on Saturday, arrived here in the Eastern Cape on Sunday and took his travel exceptionally well. His work has been solid and he will run a cracker. Holding Thumbs ran a smart, won a smart race last time out. He stayed over after the run with Sharon Cotson and he's doing exceptionally well. He's fit. The one query is how he's actually going to take to the poly surface with the change as it does have a short run in. And though he does quicken up well, Glenn's still not 100% sure what to make of him on the surface. Green Mandarin's prep hasn't been ideal, ideal unfortunately, but ignore his last. He would have preferred turf. He's a horse that does really run his best races when left alone and flying at them late. But Glenn says, going to take our chances. It is what it is. And finally, the yard will close with Chalima. And he's had a few issues, but Glenn does feel that he's going to love the poly as he's got that short burst of speed. And he does have the best of the draws of the cots and entries. So Glenn does feel that he's in the right place to be effective of his last run. Once again, great to welcome Woodhill Racing to our big day, Betway Algoa Cup on Friday. And also like to wish Glenn a very, very happy birthday for Wednesday.